All right, you can play along with this exercise. Go ahead and take a look at the set of numbers on the screen. Now, see if you can remember that bottom line of numbers. Do you remember them? What is that set of 12 numbers at the bottom? The reality is most people won't be able to recall it at all. The reason that this is hard is because of a concept called Miller's magic number. This is a concept written about in a famous psychology paper from the 1950s. The idea is that a human can only hold seven plus or minus two things in their mind at a time. More important than memorizing, it's really about how people can only process between five and nine things at a time. Now apply this to requirements. If I give you a list of 200 system shell statements and no other visual models, then as you're reading through them, by the time you get to number 10 in that list, let alone by the time you get to 190, you have forgotten what the first few were. You would have absolutely no capability to know if the full list of 200 requirements described the system without any gaps or conflicts. This is the basis for why we like to use visual models. If you imagine that requirements are like this jumble of letters, your job as a business analyst is to find the missing letters. It is very difficult when the letters are all jumbled up. However, if you can provide a visual structure, all of a sudden you can easily see what is missing, like the letter E. The same thing happens with requirements. Think of your requirements as a jumble of letters. You are trying to find the missing requirement like you are trying to find the missing letter. If I have a list of a thousand system shall statements and I ask you to find the missing ones, I can almost guarantee it will be impossible without some visual structure to the requirements. The models provide structure to help us identify those missing letters or requirements.